Hello everybody, Animation Trainer here, and today we're going to talk about Pokemon Go. And I know you guys are definitely wondering, why in the world am I reviewing an app when I could be finishing Mission Impossible 2, Ice Age, The Meltdown, The Bug's Life? Well, I just wanted to talk about something that I really do enjoy besides movies, and that's Pokemon. Pokemon is definitely one of my favorite video game series. In fact, I appreciate Pokemon more than the Kung Fu Panda movies. Yes, it's my favorite video game series. Besides Mario. Yes. Pokemon's just been with me for a very long time. Like, I've been playing the game since like 2007 or so. And I still play the games to this day. If even this year, it's been the 20 year anniversary of Pokemon, and now we can finally actually play with Pokemon. Well, not exactly play with, but like catch Pokemon in the real world. Using this device. And it is just awesome. I've been, and I've just been waiting for this game to come. And finally, it's here. Alright, so... Let's get into the review now. How, one of my main flaws with the game is that... The tutorial is just... Awful. They b don't tell you how to play. At all. That's pretty much the problem with it. Yeah. It truly is a problem with the game. In fact, in order to know, in order for me to know how to play the game, I had to get advice from people and look things up just to play the game. Isn't that ridiculous? I mean, I shouldn't have to, like, let's compare this with the movie. I shouldn't have to look things up every once in, every time, every, like, minute in the movie just to know what's going on. Yeah, it's kind of like that. Okay, not that bad, but like, sort of like that. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much my main issue with the, with, with the game. Yeah. But if there is something else I don't like about the game, it's the egg system. I won't say that it's exactly bad or anything. I'm just saying, I don't really like the fact that I don't really like the fact that if you go by car or if you go way too fast on the bike, it doesn't count it as steps. I thought that was a, a little bit ridiculous. Well, more of the bike thing. I mean, in the Pokemon games, you actually have to ride on your bike sometimes in order to hatch your eggs because, well, it's just faster. But here, if you go too fast... It doesn't, it's gonna think that you're cheating and driving. Yeah. That's something I don't like about the way that they handle it. Yeah. Alright. And that's all the flaws for now. Now with the positives. Well, of course there's gonna be positives. You can play with your favorite pocket monsters now. I even caught myself an Eevee. Eevees are adorable. Get the Eevees. Okay. <laughs> Another thing I really like about this game is, well, the motivation. Now a lot of people are starting to go outside more. Simply because they want to go search for the Pokemon. And, and, not, and I've traveled to many more places because of this game. There's certain Pokestops where you can get certain items where you have to wait till you level up in order to get yeah another thing but oh yeah and a dish an additional flaw i have with it with the game is pretty much well the way you have to level up your pokemon you have to wait for you for yourself to get a lot of duplicates just in order to evolve your pokemon I mean, come on! Maybe if you fight enough, that would work better, but no, no. 
You have to get a lot of duplicates. Wow. Isn't that cool? Especially if you're trying to evolve a rare Pokemon. That's ridiculous. Come on. Okay, now we're done with the ridiculous stuff now. All right, let's... Another thing I do enjoy with Pokemon Go is the I the AR system, I believe it's called. Whenever a Pokemon pops out, which you can see through all the photos I'm showing you, you actually get to see the Pokemon in the real world. And you get to kind of like take a lot of pictures of them and kind of make it look realistic. That's something I do enjoy with this game really does work yeah but yeah I just really love this this app you should get it even if you're not a fan of Pokemon I got a lot of non Pokemon fans to get the game and they love it even if you're not like I said if even if you're not a fan of Pokemon or don't even know what Pokemon is you should still download the app but I'm going to warn you. Listen, you better pay attention to this little thing that I'm showing right now. If you don't listen to it, you're going to get yourself killed. Many people aren't following this rule. And it, caused, and it caused danger to them. So you better listen to this rule. And I'm telling you, you better listen to it. And this is mostly so I don't get sued. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. So overall, I'd give this game an 8 out of 10. It's not the best game. In fact, I don't even think it's the best Pokemon game. But it is still an amazing game. So thanks for watching, everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. And I've decided I'm going to do a, like a, um, like a Pokemon marathon where I'm going to review all the Pokemon generations because I'm trying to play through all of them. But it'll be slowly, though. Like, it might be a month before you see the next review of it. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. So, goodbye.